All right, here's an example of division and e polynomial division, and you can see there's lots of missing terms here. I am missing an x to the third and an x, and look here, in the denominator or the divisor, I'm missing an x term. So lots of stuff um, that's missing. And then the second thing you'll notice is because I'm dividing by an x squared, I cannot use synthetic division. I have to use long division. So let's go ahead and set that up. So we're going to divide by x squared plus 0x plus 3. Notice how I filled in the missing term there with a 0. And I'm going to divide into x to the fourth plus 0x cubed plus 7x squared plus 0x plus 12. All right. So here we go, ready to start. So x to the fourth divided by x squared, that's going to be x squared. Now let's multiply it out. x squared times x squared is x squared. x squared times 0x is 0x cubed. x squared times 3 is plus 3x squared. And of course, we're going to subtract those. All right, so now x to the fourth. Oops, this piece right here. Let's fix this up a minute. All right. I multiplied it out. That should be to the fourth. There we go. All right, x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. Those have disappeared. 0x cubed minus 0x cubed is 0x cubed. 7 minus 3, so that's going to be a 4. So I have 4x squared. And let's write that a little bit better right there. OK. x squared. Good. Bring down this term. So plus 0x. If you continue using your zeros in here, it just really helps keep your place. So I encourage you to do that. So we have a 0x cubed divided by x squared, so that's going to be a 0, so plus 0x. Let's multiply that out. 0x times x squared is 0x cubed. 0x times 0x is going to be 0x squared. 0x times 3 is 0x. Subtract that. OK. So the x cubed terms have disappeared. 4 minus 0, well, that's 4. x squared, 0 minus 0, so plus 0x. And then bring down your plus 12, plus 12. All right, and let's do the division again. 4x squared divided by x squared. Well, that's going to be a plus 4. And now we're ready to multiply. 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 0x is 0x. And 4 times 3 is 12. And you maybe already can see that all of these match up nicely. And when I do all the subtraction, all the terms have disappeared, and I have a 0. That means I do not have a remainder. So let's go ahead and write our final uh, result here. And the final result is x squared plus 4. And there's no remainder. It came out nice and even. And that's an example of lots of missing terms doing division with long division.